Today we have Stephanie Turner. She's Mrs. Tennessee International 2014 on the Pageant Cast. Welcome to the Pageant Cast, your home for beauty pageant news and interviews on the internet. Hi, I'm Laura Buman, Miss Universal Dream 2013, and you are watching The Pageant Cast, the first internet podcast about beauty pageants. Here is your host, Tim Kretschmann. You're watching The Pageant Cast. I'm so glad that you joined us tonight because we have a very special guest. We have Stephanie Turner. She's Mrs. Tennessee International 2014, and she's waiting for us on the other side of the Skype line. Hello, Stephanie. Hi, Tim. Fantastic to get to meet you. Now, where are we calling you tonight? What side of the Skype line are you on? I am in Bartlett, Tennessee, which is right outside of Memphis. Right outside of Memphis. So is there a lot of country music in that part of Tennessee, or does it all get pulled into Nashville and never released? Well, it pretty much gets all pulled into Nashville. There's not a whole <laughs> lot of uh, country music fanfare down here. If somebody was coming out to Tennessee, what is something that you would tell them, you absolutely have to hit this while you're here in my state? Oh, goodness. Even though I'm really near Memphis, I would have to say Nashville. <laughs> I love the city of Nashville. I'm actually from Clarksville, which is right outside of Nashville. I just think that the downtown Nashville area is just really nice, and I would definitely recommend people visit that. Fantastic. Well, let's talk a little bit about the thing on your head uh, you are the new Mrs. Tennessee International, and you're going to be competing in Florida this year. First time they've been in Florida for many years. How did you get started in pageants? Well, um, I'm actually brand new to pageants. This will be my first ever like big deal pageant. I just um, it's something I've always wanted to do ever since I was probably um, 14 or 15. Never really just you know it was kind of one of those things you kind of think about but you never really do. Well, this year I just decided I was going to do it, and I Googled Mrs. Pageants, because I'm a Mrs., obviously, mm -hmm. and the international pageant system was the first one that popped up in the Google search box, and I clicked on it, and it looked like something I would really enjoy, and I emailed Mary, the director, and, you know, we had a phone interview, and she chose me, so that's basically how I got started, was through Google. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> Now, I, I believe in, in real life, not in pageant life, but in real life, uh, you're a pharmacist. I believe I read in your bio that you're in Walgreens. I'm guessing your store might be on a corner somewhere. <laughs> corner of happy and healthy. <laughs> Just joking. Um, we are actually on a corner, yes. Okay. We are on a corner. I had to think about it for a second, but yes, we are. I work at a 24-hour busy store on a corner. <laughs> well, and that's kind of my question for a pharmacist. What does a work day look like for anybody that might be watching and thinking about getting into being a pharmacist? Um, I'm, I'm a retail pharmacist, which is a lot different than a hospital pharmacist. For me, my day consists of pretty much being on my feet for eight hours straight. I help patients uh, find things over the counter. You know, they come and tell me, hey, I've got this going on. What do I need to do? I talk to doctors and nurses on the phone, take verbal medication orders, double check medications before we give them to the patients, and counsel on any um, questions that they may have about their medications. Okay. Well, it, it, I'm, I'm glad that I found out you were a pharmacist because when I first saw your blog, I was a little surprised by the title of it. Your, your beauty blog, can you tell everybody what that is? The name of my beauty blog is Drugs and Makeup. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I read that the first time and I said, now what? What's going on here? And it's, it's really a fun blog, isn't it? It is. I, I really enjoy it. It's, it's a lot of hard work. I've, I've, I've been doing it probably going on two years now, and when I first started, I didn't think it was going to be that much of, of a – like a time-consuming thing, but it's actually hard work, but totally worth that I really enjoy it. Yeah, and now you also have a website for your uh, for your title, and that connects to the blog, and we're going to have that link in our show notes. I know it's a WordPress. I think it's Mrs. 
inter, uh, TN oh. International 2014, correct? That Dot is correct. WordPress? Yes. Yeah. Okay. I, I didn't have it memorized. I usually try to memorize those, but it's kind of one of those longer ones with WordPress. It's a long one, yeah. Yeah, and I'm I'm a huge WordPress fan. I have WordPress on all my websites, and it looks beautiful, by the way. You did a great job. Lots of photos, lots of great appearances <laughs> already listed. So I'm going to ask you straight out, what's been your favorite appearance this year? My favorite appearance would have to be I went to a party called um, – World Down Syndrome Day is March 21st, and the um, the Down Syndrome Society here in that's local to Memphis had a party to kind of celebrate that day, and I didn't have to get super dressed up. I just wore my crown and a t-shirt and actually jeans. You know, it was very casual, but that was my favorite, favorite appearance because of the um, the children that were there. They, they thought I was just something amazing with the crown and the little girls wanted to dance with me all night and I just felt really special and everybody kept thanking me for being there and really you know it was my pleasure being there and um, that's been my favorite by far. Fantastic and when we come back we're going to be asking you that question we love to ask all international contestants about your platform but first you're going to have to wait just a moment We'll have more with Stephanie Turner, Mrs. Tennessee International 2014, in just a moment. Hang tight there, Stephanie. I am Amber Slaughter, Idaho's Super Mrs., and you're watching The Pageant Cast. I'm Amy Gregorio, Mrs. International 2013, and I am personally inviting you to join me and everyone else in Jacksonville, Florida for the 2014 Mrs. International pageant. You'll find us there July 22nd through the 28th. And remember, we're only 10 minutes from the beach, two hours from Disney, and there's all the golf and all the shopping you could ever want to see or have. Hope to see you there. Join the Facebook group that's taking Facebook by storm, the Great Lakes Pageant Scene. It's a forum for pageants held in states bordering the Great Lakes, Minnesota, Wisconsin, Illinois, Indiana, Michigan, Ohio, Pennsylvania, New York, and even into the province of Ontario. This is no void forum. We don't allow bashing, but we do allow great pageant results, pageant contestant and title holder appearance announcements, photos, videos, podcasts, and articles. That's the Great Lakes Pageant Scene on Facebook. We're back at the Pageant Cast with Stephanie Turner. She's Mrs. Tennessee International 2014. Thanks for hanging on there, Stephanie. Having a good time. <laughs> Great. Now, I, I need to ask you about your platform. We ask all the international contestants about that because they're all so passionate about their platform. Tell us what your platform is and how you got started in it. Okay. The official title of my platform is Enhancing Lives Through Advocacy and Inclusion, and it basically centered around the idea of um, people with special needs, mainly adults, but also children, too. Um, including them in communities, um, advocating on their behalf. You know, some can advocate for themselves, some can't. So advocating for the ones who cannot and just making sure that they get all the opportunities, you know, that they deserve and are entitled to as a, as a human being. I got started on this because of my sister. Her name is Janice. She has Down syndrome. And she was... Um, I was 11 months old when she was born, so we're, we're very close in age. She was my only sibling that I had growing up. So the impact um, of, of growing up with somebody with special needs that close in age, you know, it, it's impacted me a lot, and I really feel passionately and strongly about this. I'm working with organizations like the, the ARC here that's local and also an, an organization called SERVS. What they do is they focus on the adult population in our community with special needs and try to teach them skills to help them get jobs so that they can be more integrated in society. They also help them find housing. You know, if it is feasible for them to live independently, we would like for them to be able to live independently as well. Do you, do you see progress being made or is this really a hard slog at this point? 
absolutely progress is being made. There's always room for improvement, but with the the children, you know, now that, that have special needs, inclusion is just way more common than it was even whenever I was in, in grade school. You know, we, we might have had one child with, you know, Down syndrome, or, you know, or cerebral palsy in our class for like two hours out of the whole day, but now they're actually just in regular classrooms. And they may have an aid, you know, that helps them slightly, just very, very slightly through the, um, through the day. So I do see progress being made in that aspect, um, but I don't want to forget about the adult, you know, population, and that's why I'm sort of focusing on them, because they do seem to be left out a little bit, and we have a long way to go. So tell me, what are you looking forward to in Florida competing with all the ladies for the Mrs. International crowd? Well, besides just meeting all of, you know, I've been talking with a lot of these ladies on Facebook, and they all seem, you know, super wonderful, and I'm excited to meet a lot of them in person. Mm -hmm. um, besides that, I'm just excited to be on stage. Since I've never done this, I'm, I'm ready for that moment to where I just step out on stage, and, you know, I, I get the chance to just sparkle and just beam and smile, and that's, that's what I'm really looking forward to. Well, they always have a very well-produced show that they put on, and I'm sure you're going to have an absolutely great time at the pageant itself and it's this summer everybody check the website and you'll you'll find all the updates for mrs tennessee international 2014 stephanie turner now something i like to do at the end of each show and you're you're framed perfectly for this activity okay. i need to see your best pageant wave i i need to see it Let's see. Uh, you're be you're on the parade. Okay, that's the back paddle that you're doing there. All yeah. right, not bad, not bad. <laughs> I would never have thought that this is your first pageant. Good job with that. <laughs> Fantastic. <Thanks. laughs> All right, thank you, and uh, we'll talk to you real soon. Until next time, here on the pageant cast, I'm saying Tierra Dreams. Tierra Dreams, Stephanie. Thank you for having me, Tim. Tierra Dreams. <laughs> Pageant Cast.